Yeah, as you mentioned, the race still a little bit more than two weeks away. The major road closures as well about two weeks away. June 28th is when most of those road closures will take effect in advance of race weekend, which is July 1st and 2nd. The city, however, says they have been planning on this for many, many months, working on a plan for the streets to facilitate this first ever NASCAR street race. Street closures will involve a number of major routes into the loop, especially DuSable Lakeshore Drive, which is part of the race course, that between uh, Randolph and McFetridge Drive. One of many roads, though, that will be closed for race weekend. OEMC, though, and uh, other city officials say they're urging people to, at least anyone who wants to visit downtown during those times, to plan ahead. We take public safety planning very seriously here in the city of Chicago. This is our bread and butter. We do large events. We have a sterling reputation across the nation for such events. And it's part of the planning process. We want to make sure everyone is involved. Everybody has skin in the game. And we don't want it to be a surprise to anyone. Well, some of those folks who have skin in the game, as uh, he mentioned, are some of the other major attractions that will be got downtown, of course, They'll still continue to be open during that time, and the city made great pains to keep alternate routes to get into Navy Pier and the museum campus, as well as a number of other attractions. All of those alternate routes the city would suggest are available on their website, which you can find linked from our website, abc7chicago.com. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.